Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bonjour, bonsoir mes amis. Uh, good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders and our website is www.stokastick-magd.com uh, For all trades, we use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither association or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW 24, TSTW SY08 and the TSTWSYS008 traders. Today is the 1st of June uh, 2012 and the title of this video is uh, Traders Talk Part 1. This is the first uh, part of the series of video that we title Traders Talk. Alright, in this video we will discuss uh, uh, important issues that traders must know. Okay, very, very important issues that every trader, every investor must do. I invite you uh, to watch the full length of this video and to watch part one, part two, part three to understand exactly what is trading, what trading involves. And important point, ladies and gentlemen, Let's this get is a new start. series of video uh, that we are starting now called uh, Traders Talker, okay? So this is the first part of the series of video that we are starting today on the 1st of June 2012, okay? Uh, the time in London is um, 10.43, okay? I hope you can see on your screen. In New York, the time is uh, uh, 5.43 a.m., okay? And uh, we are looking on the live chart of the pound dollar currency pair, okay? This uh, currency pair is oversold, though, okay, the situation in the Eurozone uh, is affecting this currency pair, and the traders are sold, are selling, uh, okay, the pound dollar currency pair. Now, the first important thing that traders should remember, talking about traders talk, okay. Uh, moment, please. I need to pause the video. I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, thank you. Now, what I've done, I've just put my uh, note of software on a silence, okay. All right, what's going on now? The first important thing traders should remember, because in this series of video, I want to highlight, okay, some important points that traders should be aware of. So I'm going to go very, very fast, and I'm going to highlight some very, very important points, okay, that traders need to be aware of. Okay, the first important point is never, okay, to buy, okay, at the end, okay, do not buy at the end of the third area wave because very often today we think that okay suppose you can see here the price was going down okay so at this point in time the price start turning around okay trader who are not aware of uh, the area wave theory will buy at the end of the third area wave okay thinking that okay the downtrend has finished okay so right here most of the indicator the error is sign okay the stochastic will be oversold Okay, because you'll see them, they will be oversold for a long, long time. And at the end of the third in the way, trader will start buying uh, here. This is not the best thing to do. That's why I say to traders to learn to master the subject of area wave, very important point. And uh, very often, if traders are day trading, okay, you'll see it, okay. Uh, even you'll see MACD sometimes will cross above his signal line at the end of uh, the third in the way, okay. And trader will buy here. But what, what usually takes place, the price will go up a bit, and then the fifth area wave will start. And sometimes traders may be taken out of the trade. So as traders see that it starts turning around here, okay, because they draw their common sense trend line here, okay, all right, they draw their common sense trend line like this, and they see that, okay, I need to buy because the stochastic is oversold, RSI is oversold, and MACD is crossing above his zero line, MACD is crossing above his signal line, and trader will buy here. But because they do not know that the, the, the cycle is not yet finished and the fifth wave will start, okay, as you can see here, and the price will go down again. Sometimes uh, the fifth in your way will take traders out of the trade. Though traders were perfectly right to look for opportunity to buy, they notice that, okay, the downtrend is getting weak, okay, they buy here, but the timing was wrong. This is the first important point to remember. To summarize, okay, do not buy at the end of the third area wave and do not sell 
okay, do not sell at the end of the third in the wave when we are in the uptrend. So usually in the uptrend, you see the price going up. For a long, long time, the stochastic over will be overbought, RSI will be overbought, and at the end of the third in the way, you will see mark this sometimes, very important, sometimes, will cross above, okay, in the case of the uptrend, will cross below its signal line, okay, in the case of the downtrend, we will see it crossing above its signal line at the end of the third in the wave, which is the beginning of the fourth in the wave. This is not the best place to buy because we are still expecting the fifth in the wave. Very often, a lot of day traders, even some swing traders that are okay, trading using the stochastic, if they are not careful, they may see a, a winning trade become a losing trade because sometimes swing traders will enter at the beginning of the fourth in the wave thinking that okay, the, the downtrend is completely gone. They will see the trade going positively in their direction, but as soon as the third, the as soon as the fifth wave has started, okay, they will give back all their gain. And if they don't close their trade, okay, at a break even, the, a winning trade may become a losing trade. All right. Now, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. We do not want to to buy at the end of the third in the wave in a downtrend because. Uh, the, the third wave is the longest wave, and during that time, most oscillator RSI stochastic will be oversold for a long, long time. And then the common sense trend line will be broken in the downtrend. And MACD sometimes may cause a bold signal line in the case of the downtrend, talking about the third in the wave in the downtrend. Trader will buy here where I draw my horizontal line because they do not know that the, the fifth wave is still okay coming up okay so you see the price going up a bit like this only to come back down and uh, if you do not have a proper stop loss or if you do not understand what is taking place you will be taken out okay and maybe you get very very upset and walk away and and you walk away at the wrong time when a, a new cycle has begun here that's what we see here you see so if i show you what is happening here ladies and gentlemen you can see that's what i say to you uh, to draw your line okay so we can see in this session here, this uh, morning there was a consolidation bumping between two levels. The first wave to the downside on this uh, five minute chart for the pound dollar currency pair. This is the first wave. And then we have here the second wave. Okay. And then we have here the third wave. And uh, right here uh, the fourth wave. Okay. And then we have here the fifth wave. The most important thing to remember in this first part is that you very often during this third in the wave, the oscillator RSI stochastic will be oversold. And at the end of the third wave, we will see some kind of MACD or moving average or any other indicator we cause above the signal line. Trader will start buying here thinking that this is the end of the downtrend. Forgetting that the fifth wave is not yet completed, and if they are not careful, the fifth wave may take them out of the trade, and they will walk away very disappointed, okay? But only to see that, okay, a new cycle has begun here. In the case of the uptrend, we will see that, okay, most oscillators will be overbought. At the end of the third in the wave, the uptrend, okay, Margie may cross above the signal line. Some traders may decide to enter the trade there. Forgetting that the fifth wave in the uptrend is not yet completed, may decide to sell in the case of the uptrend. Forgetting that the fifth wave in the uptrend is not yet underway, only to see that their trade has they have been taken out of the trade before the new cycle has begin. So has begun. So what I want to say to traders is that remember carefully. Anytime you see it's going down, going down, going down, and you see you see now this is the bottom. Even now, if you go to the monthly chart. All right, you can see that you see this green line here, which I draw last time on the chart for you. Okay, the psychological line is the orange line. I hope you can see it. the psychological price level for the pound dollar currency pair is 15500. Do not forget that level uh, above it is bullish, below it is bearish. So we can see that the price was touching the edge. You can see here on the edge of our green, uh, okay, bullish trend line, but. Again, when we switch to a very lower time frame, like five minutes here, you can see that if you buy here, if you don't have a proper support, you, you may probably enter the trade in this uh, candle here. Okay, all right. This is one of the mistakes myself have made before. 
buying okay at the end of the third in your wave okay in the downtrend here only to see that the price will come down for the fifth wave and you will be taken out okay before okay a new cycle has begun in the case of the uptrend you will buy you will sell sometime because market will cross okay below a signal line in the case of the uptrend and you may start to sell forgetting that the fifth way is still underway and uh, the fifth way may go up and then you are taken out this is the first important thing a trader must know to master the area wave never buy okay at the end of the third area wave if you buy at the end of the third area wave in the case of the downtrend be careful because the fifth wave is still coming okay because all, all you are doing you are buying the fourth wave but you you thought that okay in fact the downtrend is finished but it's not finished because the fifth wave is still underway okay when it's going up you don't want to sell it okay at the end of uh, the third wave you want to sell it at the end of the fourth wave the best place to buy in a downtrend is here okay when okay the fifth wave is completed okay all right this is the first important thing a trader must know talking about trader stock I invite you to follow me to the next part of the video when I will reveal to you something also very important you need to uh, know. Thank you okay? for watching. Moving on. Uh, thank See you, you for in watching. Uh, in this second part of uh, the video, we will talk about uh, Facebook, uh, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I hope uh, you will visit um, okay Stochastic MACD page on Facebook. Look for Stochastic MACD. On Facebook, you will see our page there, Stochastic MACD, all right, Stochastic Dash MACD on Facebook. We are looking on the stock of uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, this is the 15-minute chart, okay? In this second part, we will talk about the second important thing traders must know, okay? Now, this video is primarily for the TSTW24, TSTWSY S08, and the TSTWSY S008 traders, okay? Now, what is uh, the core price? That is, I mean, you notice that uh, recently, okay, uh, Facebook came into the market, all right, and uh, the IPO, which is the initial uh, public price, okay, uh, the initial uh, public offering price was uh, at thirty-eight dollar, okay. So, how do we handle, okay, a company that is coming to the market for the first time, okay, talking about the IPO, okay, Indian Papa Oscar IPO, okay, initial public offering. We want to know how we can handle a company that is coming to the market for the first time, okay. These are very, very important. You want to know how you can do it, okay, how you can trade. A stock that is coming for the first time into the market, as we have seen recently, okay, this uh, Facebook came into the market. What do you need to look for, okay? How do you trade it? Very, very important. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention, all right? The first thing we need to do some calculation. These are very simple calculation. Anybody can calculate it, okay? Even a primary, okay, school children can calculate that, okay, so be very patient if you say that, okay, I'm not very good in math and all the blah, 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 I don't need any complication. Yes, we are in the same boat, I hate complication and I like things to be very, very, very simple, okay, so be very patient. Now, we know that the price, uh, Facebook came to the market at the price of $38, now. What we need to do, as soon as we know the, 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 the IPO price, okay, we want to note it down, $38, we must calculate 70% of the IPO price. This is the core price, CP. Core price is equal to the initial public offering multiplied by 70%. In the case of Facebook, the core price, I have tweeted about this at George Trio. If you do not follow us on Twitter, you may follow us at George Trio. As soon as Facebook came into the market, I was tweeting about it, told traders that the core price for Facebook was at 2660. We want to know the core price. I will go deeply into it later on. I will write article about it. When I explain to you this uh, strategy of trading IPO. The call price for Facebook was at 26.60. How did we get that? We did the 38 pound, 
of 38 dollars okay multiplied by 70 percent give us the call price which is giving us the formula here cp equal to ipo multiplied by 70 percent we are talking about the call value the call price for facebook it does not mean that this is okay uh, the net asset price is the fair price these are tools that we are using okay guidelines things that we can work with as technical traders to help us okay make excellent trading decision okay so if you are a fundamental traders and you say oh this is completely nonsense it may be completely nonsense for fundamental traders but for technical traders it makes sense and i will sh i will show you here so we want to know the call price 26.60 we note it now okay so we know the IPO price, IPO price 38, we know the call price 26.16. The next price that we want to know is the first resistance price. The first resistance price, how do we calculate it, ladies and gentlemen? We will use, okay, the IPO price plus the, the CP price. Alright, very, very important. The first resistance is the IPO price plus the call price that's the first resistance a price level you want to know so you know the IPO price you know the call price you know the first resistance price for first book the first resistance price is at 6460 because when a company come into the market for the first time traders an investor want to buy and hold some would like to sell and hold now we want to check the fundamental apart from the technical we will check the fundamental we know that facebook is excellent company they are making money they are coping with the competition with google but the gentlemen you want to know the call price you want to know the ipo price you want to know the first resistance price the first resistance price is the ipo price plus the call price for facebook the the the, the first resistance price is at 6460 you must know it the next thing that you want to know is the first support price. The first support price, ladies and gentlemen. The first support price is uh, one second, please. Ladies and gentlemen, just to pause the video, one second. I need to do something here. Hold on, please. I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen just to drink uh, some water here be thirsty all right now talking about the first support price is the call price minus 70 percent of the call price so we know now for uh, this uh, facebook the call price was at uh, uh, 2660 okay what we will do we will do 70 percent of 2660 it will give us uh, 18 dollar 62 so we will use okay the first support price is the call price minus the 70 percent of the call price in other words okay ladies and gentlemen is 2660 minus 1862 the the first support price for facebook is at the seven dollar 98 call price minus 70 percent of the call price itself for facebook that means 2660 which is the core price minus uh, 2660 multiplied by 70 percent those who understand the formula here that's the first support level cp multiplied by okay you see one minus 1.7 okay so core price minus 70 percent of the core price that will give us okay the first support price the core price for facebook is at 2660 we will calculate 2660 multiplied by 70 that will give us 1862 we will use 2660 minus okay 1862 will give us uh, seven dollar 98 that's the first support price for a uh, facebook you may say to me george i will never watch your video again all mm -hmm. right now do not think that this is a complicated formula these are very important price level that we want to know let's move on now ladies and gentlemen looking at the chart of uh, this uh, facebook as we know the price i'm going to the daily chart ladies and gentlemen these are very important you want to know it is on the daily chart up the e open uh, we know that uh, the apple price okay was at 38 dollar the price that as we treated about it ladies and gentlemen 
we checked our Twitter at George Trio. We know our call price, we know the 2616, we know as soon as uh, we know the IPO price, we can calculate all these numbers and get them ready. We don't just make any decision, we just want to know those levels because they are very important levels, okay? So we know the, the first resistance price is at 6416, and we know that the first uh, support price is at $7.98, all right? So what's happened in the case of Facebook? Traders start selling Facebook. There were a lot of bad blah 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 about Facebook, but we know that people want to buy Facebook. In fact, the criticism was that <laughs> it was expensive, IPO price, and uh, investors want to buy it at a core price. All right, what's happened? Let me see. The price went down. <laughs> Look, as soon as they bring it to the market, they bring it down. Uh, the lowest point uh, this thing has achieved. All right, was 26.83, just a uh, few pips away from the core price. So you can see the low that uh, since it opened, okay, it went to 26.83. The core price is just right below, okay, the core price. How do we handle this? If we know that the company is excellent company, if we know that the company has excellent product, if we know that the company can handle the competition very well. If you know that the, the economic condition is not too bad for this company and the stock for one reason or another drops down to the core price, we want to give it a chance. We want to look for an opportunity to buy. This is what's happening with Facebook. Alright, so now that we know the core price, if for one reason or another the price drops down to the core price, and we know that everything remains intact, the fundamentals are solid, the company is making money, it has excellent product, it can cope with the competition, it has a future, the economic condition is not too bad, we want to buy or look for opportunity to buy at the call price. This is about buy and hold. Somebody who likes Facebook, somebody who wants to be a long-term investor for Facebook will note down the call price checking the fundamental, doing the due diligence, okay, and buy and hold for a long time, at the beginning of a, a bullish cycle, okay, you, if the price drops down to the core price, you want to buy, you want to look for opportunity to buy, this video is not for a signal to buy at Facebook, not a signal to sell Facebook, this is a technical analysis, okay, a trading video for TSTW traders. Alright, so we can see in this case it went perfectly prior rolling down, 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 down to the core price in the zone of the core price, as I explained to you, in the zone of the core price, 2660. The prior couldn't touch the core price itself, but came to the 2683. For those who want to buy Facebook and hold for a long time, this is the best place to look for an opportunity to buy. I'm not saying to you to buy, I'm not saying to you to sell. Alright, very, very important. All right, so we know the core price. So this is the case of a company that is okay, has excellent fundamentals, okay, and we want to buy. We want to buy at the core price as the price drop down from the IPO price down to the core price. All right. Now, if the the, the market support, if the market support is uh, a bullish momentum, which means now the price came near the core price. All right. Suppose, ladies and gentlemen. When we are trading, we are talking about probability. Suppose the market was very happy with this uh, call price level. The, if they accept the call price as a fair value for Facebook, where are we going? We will try to go first to the IPO price. But as we are going towards the IPO price, which is the, the price where the market is listed, okay, we need to be careful. We must also acknowledge the media line, okay? of the movement from the IPO price to the core price, which is somewhere in the middle here. As the price going up, we want to watch the, this level here. If it goes above the media line, and uh, we receive a signal to buy, we will take it again, and uh, we must watch it. But this is not the first resistance level. The first resistance level, as I explained to you for Facebook, is at 6460, which means if long-term investors continue to buy this Facebook, the price has a high chance from this level of 2683 to move up to the zone of 6460. This is the first resistance level. On the other hand, if, ladies and gentlemen, which I doubt it, okay, I doubt it, 
if the market okay remains bearish towards Facebook and continue to sell Facebook the price also has a high chance to continue the movement to the downside up to the first support level which is at a seven dollar all right 98 I doubt it very much I doubt it very much for Facebook so to summarize quickly as a, if the stock come into the market for the first time we want to know the core price the core price is the IPO price multiplied by 70 percent in the case of Facebook is 2660 the next thing that we want to know is the first resistance because if you want if if our strategy is to buy okay the stock at a better price okay suppose you are an investor as soon as I uh, first book is listed you want to buy but you think that the Apple price is too expensive okay so you say all right I want I want to buy but I will wait until the price reaches okay if it reaches the, the core price I will buy so price now is at Apple price you will buy you start buying by buying, buying by buying because you are happy with the fundamental you are happy with the company you are happy with the management okay you are happy with the uh, your investment decision and you want to buy so you continue to buy this uh, stock and your goal is one day to take profit in the zone of the first resistance level which is the IPO price plus the core price which is for Facebook 6460 but if you are very bearish and you do not believe that this stock will continue the movement to the upside and from the IPO you sold it you want to continue to sell it okay and you are very very bearish <laughs> which is crazy in this case I think so um, your, your, your greediest target so to speak your greediest target will be the first okay a support level uh, support price which is at uh, okay seven dollar ninety eight another thing I want to say to traders which is very important as a market as a, a stock a company is listed for the first time we want to have a, a profile for this company we want to know okay the IPO price so suppose you want to trade this uh, stock in the future okay you want to have okay the profile you diagnose this is your diagnose you know the, the IPO price you know the core price you know the first okay resistant price and you know the first support price you keep them and you do not forget it because in the future the price may have revisited those key levels and you want to know what is taking place because smart investor will take action in those areas what I want you to pay attention to as I explained to you suppose the green line here okay this is the IPO price okay so by calculating our, our face okay support level which is the orange line we have it here for Facebook is at uh, seven dollar ninety eight the first resistance is at uh, 6460 now the price as you can see all right if the price all right now what I've said now I made mean, there is a mistake here this this is the core price here so this is the IPO price the green one the orange one is the core price and this is okay the first resistance a uh, price now as the price remain bullish which means the price this is the Apple price the price dropped down fast to the core price at 2660 now we are bullish we want to buy we are buying we are buying we are buying we will take profits okay gradually if you want to take profit if you are long-term trader if you are long-term investor the level that you want to watch carefully and take some profit is the first resistance price the first resistance price for this uh, first book is at 64.60 call price the green one call once again let me say my apology for the mistake IPO price the green one call price orange one repeat IPO price the green one call price orange the price drops down from the IPO price to the call price fundamentals still intact market condition excellent we are bullish we want to buy and hold for long term as we buy and hold for long term we must be prepared to take some profit when the price reaches the first resistance price which is at 6460 very very important but 
the price does not go in straight line you can see that there is a this uh, IPO price here as the price start from the core price if you find a support at the core price you must watch carefully the IPO price some investor may take profit all right all right but if you are long-term investor and you do not care about the short-term fluctuation of the market you may decide to hold on to the price until the price reaches the first all right resistance price level on the other hand if you are very very bearish and you want you do not believe in this business at all your first greediest target the greediest target will be at a 798 which means price drop down to the core price and fail to find a support price will be below the core price and find and retest the core price and find a resistance there and continue the movement okay to the next level which is the first okay a support price level so the core price is the green one 38 dollar if we are bullish and we want to buy and hold price finding a support probably continue the movement to the upside okay from the core price which is the orange one here so price drop down first to the core price the orange one and then continue the movement to the apple price now everybody's happy the the negative sentiment that was uh, originated okay from the apple part has vanished price breaks above okay the the apple price 38 dollar continue the movement to the upside ladies and gentlemen our first target is this uh, okay a first resistance level we first resistance price at 64 60. if the price break above the the, the the first resistance price and the bullish momentum continues okay we will project equal size of uh, this uh, channel the green one and the red one the green one and the red one to the other side bringing us here in this zone i can tell you the next uh, resistance level talking about bullish uh, traders we will add 6460 plus 2660 i'm doing my calculation here ladies and gentlemen moment please a bit slow but i'll get there soon this is very very important for traders to know exactly what to expect and uh, how to handle okay a company that is listed for the first time in a market the next target zone will be at 91 okay 20 okay that's the first that's the second resistance price for uh, this uh, uh, first uh, book to summarize quickly ladies and gentlemen as a company is listed for the first time we want to know the IPO price my apology for some of my uh, okay blah 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 the IPO price we know the IPO price for Facebook is 38 dollar we will multiply the 38 dollar by 17 that will give us the call price we want to know the first resistance price that's the IPO price price the call price for Facebook the first resistance price is at 6460 if the price breaks above the first resistance price and the bullish momentum continues the next target is the greediest of the greediest target which is the second resistance price is at 91.20 the key number that you must remember is 2660 you must add that number to each resistance level 2660 all right on the other hand if the market is very 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 bearish and the fundamentals are very 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 weak as the price drop down from the IPO price repeat the apple price is the green one ladies and gentlemen apology again is the green one price drop down to the call price but fail to find a support because people do not support the company or the fundamental were not solid price continue the movement to the downside we will calculate okay the first support price for facebook the first support price is at seven dollar ninety eight which means it's very very bearish people continue to sell the financial stock from the core price down to the first support level that's very very bearish sometimes ladies and gentlemen as we are talking about a very important issue here that we are revealing to traders for the first time you must understand that uh, price goes up and goes down if you look at uh, okay uh, research in motion ladies and gentlemen this is a stock that went up big time okay over the year and uh, 
I don't know uh, the IPO price, so I can make the calculation for you, but I will do that in the future. You can see that it went up to, okay, the zone of uh, 145, $145, but today the price is at $10.23, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, stock has a history, and uh, we can, okay, map, okay, uh, this, uh, uh, the, 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 the future of uh, the stock by knowing the core price, the IPO price, the first resistance price, the second resistance price, and here what I'm trying to do is to give you, okay, a kind of a profile or to reveal to you what is likely to take place for this, uh, okay, first book stock. The key element, as you can see, as soon as the price hits on the 50 minute chart, the zone of the core price, it did find a support. The bearish trend line is broken. There is a, a bullish momentum that has continued. Smart traders are aware of the core price. If they accept this level as a fair price or a value price, they will continue to buy like a mad traders, okay? And we, they will bring it to the, okay? We must acknowledge the media line, which I don't want to talk about now, to the IPO price. If the price reaches the IPO price and breaks above it, the next greedy target is the first resistance price, which is the core price, okay? Price 70%, okay, which is the IPO price, price, uh, okay? IPO price multiplied by 70%, core price, IPO price multiplied by 70%, first resistance, IPO price plus 70% of the IPO price, or IPO price plus, okay, the core price. Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if it's too much for you, you can watch the video again and know what we are talking about. To summarize very fast, call price, IPO price, multiplied by 70%. First resistance price is the call price plus the IPO price. The first support level is the call price minus 70% of the call price. These levels allow us to trade a financial instrument like professional traders to make excellent decisions at a, a hot spot in the zone. Those who understood this uh, important tool knew that okay we were we were reaching the core price for this uh, first book in the zone of 2660. Now it's bullish. If the bullish momentum continue, we must watch the Apple price and also the first resistance price at a 6460. For those who want to buy and hold, those who believe in uh, Facebook, we want to ask you buy in the zone of 2660, and uh, you want to hold it for years, do me a favor, take some profit at 6460, look for another opportunity to come into the market, again around 6460, the next greedy target for this uh, uh, Facebook, is uh, 9120. In my view, I believe this first book will continue the movement to the upside unless there is something else that we do not know. All right, up to the zone of 9120. This is the second important thing a trader must know the IPO price, the core price, the first resistance price, the second resistance price. When the fundamental are solid. Uh, the market conditions are excellent. The price will remain above the core price. It will not violate the core price. That's why we must know the core price. So in this case, if we know that the fundamentals are solid, we don't want to sell this stock if you want to buy and hold. We will buy and hold and just go on and uh, do other things and leave it to the market. The important thing is that we don't want it to go below the core price because we know that we buy it at the core price. The core price is not a net asset value. It's a technical core price. Some company may come into the market with a, a high IPO price. If the market rejects the core price, which means they have overvalued the company, the market will reject the core price and the market will seek the fair value. This is what the market is doing all the time. The market is looking for the fair price. The call price is not always the fair price, 
very important. The call price is not always the fair price. If the call price is not the fair price, the market will reject it, which means the price will dig below the call price, seeking the first support price. The first support price is the call price minus 70% of the call price. And uh, we will do the projection of the channel if uh, the first support price is also rejected. But very often, company that has that have excellent fundamental, okay, will remain above the call price. So if you are a pension fund or you are okay a very important investor, okay, and you want to buy the, the price, the, 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 the company listed for the first time, you disagree with the valuation, you think that is too high, calculate the call price and watch it, okay. As we have seen, there were a lot of criticism for the IPO price for Facebook. Uh, we, we were expecting, <laughs> okay, Facebook to come to this zone of 2660. You can check our Twitter, the time and the day we tweeted about this price level, 2660. And yesterday, you can expect it, and it took it up. Now, the trend line on the 15-minute chart is broken for day traders, okay. So, we switch now from investment, okay, talking into day trading. We will start doing a, okay this on a 50 minute chart okay doing a kind of projection on our 50 minute chart if you are long term investor do not worry about this all you need to do is to pay attention to the management and the competition and the fundamental to see whether there is a good reason to hold or to take profit because as you buy and hold you want to monitor the management you want to know whether they stick to their core activity Okay, they do not deviate from their core activity and the business is going and handling very well the competition. If the music has changed, take your money and go. Come back another day. Alright? That's very simple. The next thing that I will tell technical traders, so apart from the core price, the first resistance price, the second resistance price, and the first support price. Now the company is listed now. A month candle, a monthly candle is now closed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I will remove the line. As a technical trader, what do we need to do? Okay, so we see now this is the month of uh, May is now closed. We will highlight the range of the, the candle on the monthly chart. The high for this uh, Facebook 45, the low 2683. We will draw the media line for this, uh, all right, for this monthly candle. The media line is at 35.91 as a day trader. Now that a new month has begun, the first trading day will be on the 1st of June today. We are watching the low of this uh, month, 26.83. The media line is at uh, 35.91. You must not forget it. And also the high at 45. Professional, do not forget these key uh, levels. So apart from the call price and the resistance price and the support price, after a monthly candle is completed, we want to know the high, the low, and the media line. This is the second most important thing traders and investors must know in order to make excellent decisions. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first part of a trader's talk that you will put into use, okay? in order okay to cream the market consistently thank you for watching and uh, we will speak to you uh, very soon we are the tstw 